Let's go to tea. So I couldn't get my yoga intro up, you guys, but we are live. <laughs> Give everybody a few more minutes to jump on here. I'm trying to play something that won't get my channel flagged. We are live. I'm gonna let everybody come in. Shout out to everybody watching on YouTube and Facebook. We are on day two of the 30 days of yoga. And we got a great conversation to talk about tonight. All right, make sure you're sharing on your social media pages. I'm about to share on mine real quick. I have my mother. Everybody should know. If you know me, you know her. And if you don't know her and you know me or vice versa, then you ain't really that close with us. Peace, love, and light, everybody. <laughs> I'm excited about our conversation. We are live. Okay. Do you have issues sharing it on your page, Mom? No, I um, I'm doing it now. Okay. Are you gonna share your Is it on? Yeah, we're live. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you quiet. <laughs> yeah, I just needed a few minutes to share. Um Okay. And I just did that. We should be getting people coming in, chiming in. It's, it is seven o'clock and everybody ain't locked down and people still out. It's warm outside. Well, we got to get started. Let me shout out to everybody on Instagram to let them know that we are live. So, oh, can this um, go on Instagram? No, it can't. It's okay. just Facebook and YouTube right now. Okay. All right. Okay, y'all, we are back with another 30 days of yoga challenge i'm super excited um to have this very special guest because without her there would be no me it's my mother trisana staples um and we are going to be talking about stroke recovery prevention and yoga um, my mom is going to share a little bit of her journey um because yoga has played a role in it as you guys know, with the 30 Days of Yoga, this is a personal challenge that the magazine does every year to get as many people, really, to get as many people to relax and do yoga. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know how long that yoga can prolong your life. And it's really about helping you to be mindful and self-aware. Um and so that's my goal, to get as many people to do some yoga. Even if you can't do the whole 30 days, at least you did five. At least you tried to do a week. Um, but being intentional with taking the time to relax, to be still, to be stressed, because this world really wants us to be on the go, stressing ourselves out on, you know, this hyper, let's do it, do it, you know, crazy, crazy pressured lifestyle that we look at as success. But it's one of the things that are killing us. And it's my brother calling me right now. And so that's my ultimate goal. That's the, the mind frame behind the 30 days of yoga. I just want y'all to do some yoga. <laughs> and we can do some yoga together, pretty much. But with this challenge, um, if you sign up, you go to the Natural Woman Magazine site. Um, I do have the link in the description box of these videos. We are just on day two, so you are not that far behind. And uh, with the 30 days of yoga, you get daily emails with yoga routines and just like a different daily yoga practice and why we're doing a particular practice. Today, we are working on the sacral chakra. Yesterday, we were working on the root chakra. 
And so we'll go through all through all we'll go through all the chakras for the first seven days and then go into deeper levels of um, yoga. So I'm super excited about that. And you'll also get access to our 30 day yoga feature emails, <laughs> not emails, um, interviews like the one I'm doing here um, where, I, where I interview a yoga professional or yoga enthusiast, a lover about how yoga has impacted their life. Um, you'll also get a chance to be entered into our yoga giveaway that we'll be doing at the end of the 30 day challenge. Um, and we do a weekly yoga class online in the natural woman boot camp. Um, our first class will be Saturday morning. And so if you sign up, um, with the challenge, you'll get access to all of that good stuff. Um, you know, and just do something good for your body pretty much. So with further ado, let's get into the topic Hello, everybody. I know long time no see. I told y'all I was coming back. We got some content. Y'all about to be seeing me a lot more. A lot more. Okay, so I don't even, I can't call her Trezani, y'all. I gotta call her mom. So <laughs> her name is Trezani, but it's my mom. So let's really talk about. Um, I guess, didn't have months pregnant. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Um, let's really talk about um, who you are, what you do, and why I even chose you to be a person to talk about this topic tonight. Well, um, who I am now, I am a stroke survivor. I had a stroke um, October 3rd, the day before your birthday, <laughs> Yes, 2017. And, um, I, you know, if, if you knew me before my stroke, I was, I was, um, just a busy person. <laughs> I ran a nonprofit organization. Um, and I, I was fairly active, um, working, um, administrating, teaching people how to fish, so to speak, to grow their own food, to live sustainably, to be healthy. Um, but now as a stroke survivor, I'm doing that now, but more intentional about being um, calm, cool, and collective. Because my stroke was a cryptogenic stroke, which means they didn't know what caused it. What I did know, but prior to about three months prior to my stroke, I stopped doing the things that one, the things that I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I um I didn't I didn't take the time to care for me where I was caring for everybody else. Things such as yoga, um, riding my bike, hiking, gardening. I got so involved in life and having to be here, do there, and do everything. In addition to my dad, it got sick um, prior to. So I was just everywhere. And because I had so much going on, I stopped doing the self-care stuff for me because I'm the type of person that I um, internalize stress. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't uh, cry and, and bitch about what I have to deal with. I just do it, but I was internalizing it and I wasn't letting, when I stopped, going when i stopped doing those things to help me alleviate the stress mm -hmm. it just built up like a tea kettle and just popped and i was in the hospital when i had the stroke because i walked in and but i was just i just walked in just to um check my blood pressure because i was feeling very fatigued I just came off the road from burying my dad. Excuse me, I'm I'm sitting in front of a window 
and the sun is setting. So oh, you're fine. <laughs> I keep moving and the sun keeps moving. So um, you bring the sun. The sun is attracted to you right now. So, um, you know, long story short, I didn't have time for me. And it's very important, especially everybody, but especially Black women, we carry the weight of the world on our shoulder. And we do everything. And we don't complain, but some of us internalize that stress. And stress, there's no such thing as a stress o meter. You know, you can't, you can't, like a blood pressure um, gauge, you can't measure stress. But if you don't yeah. take care of yourself and not just, you know, pedicures, but you really got to take care of yourself by eating right, go out and take a walk in nature, garden and things of that nature. Because in the short three period time where I started, where I stopped doing it, it resulted in a stroke. And because of my stroke, I have aphasia because my stroke happened on the left side of my brain. So it affected my right side of my body. Um, I, my, I still have some weakness on, on my right side. And of course you were there they told you, they told y'all that I wouldn't be able to talk again. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to walk again. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have any quality of life. They said that four, almost four years ago. Yep. And she has worked mighty, mighty, mighty hard to uh, change all of that. Because as you can see, she's sitting here Walking, talking, using her computer to start a nonprofit organization. She been <laughs> <laughs> she has totally rebuilt herself and uh being ha having to witness like my mom go through that was I would say traumatic. I think it it ch it changed um our entire family and our family dynamic. Um, but her story, her story is such, is a great inspiration, but then it also, I love the, how she's wanting to bring awareness to help people know that there are alternative ways to recover, um, from stroke. Cause, uh, you know, um, I shared a few statistics when I was promoting our live session today and it says, um, African Americans are 50 50% 50 more likely to have a stroke as compared to uh, our white adult counterparts. Um, it says black men are 70% more likely to die from a stroke as compared to non Hispanic whites, and African American women are twice as likely to have a stroke as compared to non Hispanic women. Um, so stroke hit our community really, really hard. Um, they happen more often than what we think, and the people think there's just a normal thing that we go through. Um, and it's something that we can't prevent. Um, and I know one of the best things just from my research and understanding that knowing how to manage and maintain stress is yes. a big key. Um, but before we get just into the preventative parts of how yoga can prevent stroke, uh, I want to talk about how yoga was able to help you with your recovery? Well, you know, when I got out the hospital and I was there for 45 days, okay. I, I could, I get, I can't, I thought in my mind, I thought I was going to walk out <laughs> like I walked in, <laughs> but I ended up getting out of a wheelchair. So at the time, because of the aphasia and my brain was still healing, I didn't know what to think. Because if, if I believed in what the healthcare workers were saying, 
and and mind you, they probably just had to say the worst worst case scenario. Right. But I couldn't walk. And then, but but once I got home after physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, speech therapy. I was I got better and better as far as my mobility mm-hmm. and my speaking. It was a hard road. I was I was depressed. I was so broken. And you know, um when you have seen death, because if you have a stroke, that's the closest place you can be for death. If you in some strokes can take you out yeah everybody's stroke is different even babies have strokes inside their mother's womb so anybody can have a stroke it doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter um your age it doesn't matter your race stroke is equal is an equal opportunity but (laughs) as, as as people of color, we tend to uh, have more strokes than any other race in this country because the post-traumatic stress that we endure Mm -hmm. and the stress that we deal with on a daily basis. Right. So um, mental health should be a priority mental health doesn't mean that you have a mental problem it means that you're releasing the underlying stressors that you are having now mind mind it mind you you know some people have strokes because their their diet is off key they're eating processed foods and the key to life is to you have to feed your mind body and spirit and i was doing the mind i was doing the body but i wasn't taking care of my spirit and because i was missing that component when i say not taking care of my spirit i like i when i stopped um when i got too busy doing everything else i didn't have the time for meditation i didn't have the time for yoga i didn't have a have the time to take my daily walks in the park to Whitten woods or hike and ride my bike i didn't have that time so i have to you have to make time and i enjoy yoga because we had yoga at the organization that I um, ran. So, you know, yeah. we, you know, we had yoga there, we had meditation there, we had health, healthy food there. And I got so swamped in, in, in working and helping everybody else. I was not taking care of myself. And you have to have mind, body and spirit transformation so that you don't result in any health um, catastrophes, especially a stroke, because some people can't stroke stroke recovery is not for the weak at heart because it's hard. I got to get up every morning and do something. I have to get up and work. I take, um, I do yoga. I take Tai Chi. That's a, a whole now because i'm retired now i t- <laughs> i um i do everything on a schedule now that i want to do i don't have to 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 uh be at the office to make sure everything is working right right, right. i have mm-hmm. to i have to check in with myself and to make sure that I'm working right, right. right. Now, I don't know if you answered, if I answered the question, but <laughs> you did, you did. Uh, just you know, I guess how yoga has been able to help you recover. Um, 
since the stroke? How has it helped with your recovery and some of the things um, you have gone through? And you did touch on that. So let me ask. We got a few questions from some of our viewers. Um, Adriana said, I need a malpractice lawyer now. If you know of any, please. I had two strokes and the hospital told me nothing was wrong. Yeah. The hospitals cover their asses. They cover their asses. Um, because, and this is the thing. This is why it's so important for us as black people. We need to make sure we have health care providers, but health care providers that are black. I believe that's why we need black hospitals, because sometimes when we go to hospitals as black people and we're telling them our symptoms, they're looking at us as being over hysterical and not taking our pain or what we're going through seriously. Because um, sometimes isn't our, what we're going through isn't a textbook thing. And so sometimes I've seen it on several different occasions where doctors and hospitals will dismiss us and some bull crap happens and we, we get penalized. Cause I know one of the things when you were in the hospital, um, you, the, you could have possibly had a stroke shot to prevent the stroke from even happening. Cause you were in the hospital for a full 24 hours before the stroke happened. I had I had my stroke three days after I was in the hospital. Yeah, I went to the hospital to check my blood pressure because I couldn't find any of my blood pressure cups. I used to have workshops and teach people how to check their blood pressure because it's one of the things in, in our community that people eat bullshit. And you have to um, check your blood pressure. I couldn't find any of my blood pressure cups. So I went to the emergency room just to, just to get my blood pressure checked. They ended up admitted, admitting me on a Saturday because they said they didn't have a technician because they didn't know what was causing my blood pressure to be sky high. Right. And... They they said they didn't have a technician to run their MRI machine. So they said they um they couldn't get an MRI, MRI until Tuesday, I think. So I was there sa um Saturday, Sunday, early morning Monday morning. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, you were there, you can tell yeah. me. I had a stroke. Yeah. I had a stroke in three different um, parts of my brain. So apparently I had three strokes back to back. Yeah. And she did try to sue, but the hospitals covered their ass. I'm trying to tell you, you're going to have to get a, spend some money or I don't know how male practice suits work, but hospitals, when it's their mistake, they will do their best to cover their butts and dismiss everything. And it's it can hard be to, very tricky. And it's hard to get an attorney to to take a malpractice unless the suit is cut and dry. Right. Unfortunately, is my from my opinion is from my experience. They're not trying to be a you know what what people see on TV is not the truth. These attorneys are not trying to waste any time. It has to be cut and dry. If it ain't cut and dry, and if and if the 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 medical team um covers their ass by the uh the medical records, like putting stuff in there, they ain't gonna touch it. Yeah, I don't care what you say, they're not gonna touch it. I so went, went through 20 attorneys. Yeah. Yeah. So good luck with that. I hope you do find somebody and, you know, hope they could pay, but they'd be hard to get. Uh, Sharita W from YouTube, she said her brother had a stroke two years ago. Just this Saturday, he had three seizures in a row and they put him in, in an induced coma. He's still heavy, sedative because he keeps seizing. Um, one thing I've learned with seizing, one thing I know that helped my mom when she sat there and said that her um the doctor said she wouldn't talk again when her stroke hit she couldn't talk like she couldn't say words like we sat there and watched her go through 
you know, being able to sit up there talking to us to not being able to say any words. Um, and her stroke was very, very severe. One thing I did do that I think helped was get her on CBD immediately um, because CBD and I'm not a medical provider. So, you know, please do your own research, take it your own risk. But just from my research, um, from being involved in the cannabis industry and the things I've learned, I knew I had that intuition telling me, get your mama some CBD because CBD helps prepare brain neurons in the brain. And uh, one thing we did that I think that helped us out a lot was um, she started taking the CBD oil. Was it on the 4th, October 4th? We had a stroke on the 3rd and I went and got the stroke. Yeah. Got CBD on the 4th. Um, they didn't like started... that either. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh yeah. But she started saying some words. Probably took about an hour after taking mm -hmm. the CBD. Her words were coming. She was saying stuff. In the hospital, they were so mad that we gave her CBD. Like, they didn't like it, but hey, <laughs> you get paid to service us. Y'all don't tell us what to do. Mm -hmm. um, they were really trying to get her. Uh, they were trying to put a pump in you. Yeah. It was a lot of things they wanted to do. And this is one thing I tell y'all. Yeah. they That would have kept her to the point where she probably would have never healed. And would have been stuck on all types of medicines and not been able to recover the way she wanted to recover if she followed, you know, what the hospital standard of care is when it comes to um, healing from right. stroke. Yeah. Um, and, and we, you know, we, we took a more holistic path in addition to working with the modern medicine. Yes. We, I think that I believe that modern medicine and naturopathic medicine can coexist i'm living proof that it can mm -hmm. but you have to have a healthcare team that's willing to work together because yeah. we don't we still don't know from to this day what caused my stroke other than stress mm -hmm. in my mind even though i had a stroke i couldn't talk to the outside world but i understood what was happening Right. I can hear everything. I just couldn't communicate what I it was a disconnect. But right. but even with that, um if it hadn't been for you and mom, my mother, get making sure that I had this uh C B D oil to start getting my brain to working. I probably, they probably would have put me, had me on all type of pharmaceutical meds. Yeah. That I could not move or talk. Yeah. Because as soon as I came out of um, ICU, I'm like, I want to, I don't want to lay down. They were just wanting me to be strapped to a bed. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's no money if you're healed in this medical system we're in if you wanted to heal yourself completely from any ailment they can't make any money and so the system is set up to get you dependent on some type of medicine some type of health care program not to fully be healed they want to treat they ain't trying to heal exactly. and so yeah and so that was uh, a real, one big thing but i um i hope that um your bro you guys can help your brother um she said her brother couldn't talk either or move on his right side yeah like hey i'm gonna do your research but i would definitely look into cbd oil if y'all haven't tried anything um natural that could possibly help him um it, there are several stories there are several stories of people who have had brain uh injuries where they couldn't talk have seizures and took taking cbd and it stops it completely like do your research is it's, it's Something is possible to help them. So I hope that helps. In case people don't understand what aphasia is, aphasia um, is, is not, it, it's just a, uh, it's a condition that is affected by the brain that will, that um, people cannot communicate, can't say words. It doesn't affect the intelligence 
but um but it can affect how a person speaks or not speak and my speech has gotten much better i'm almost four years post stroke whereas i couldn't say anything couldn't say the words i i was like I, I knew what I wanted to say, yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't, couldn't get it out of my mouth. Right. <laughs> I used to watch her frustrated because I was like, she got all her wheels. They all spinning in there, but it just wasn't coming out. <laughs> and so, you know, it's very important. Like for yo, like yoga helped me calm, even though my yoga i can get on the floor now but mm -hmm. most of my yoga i have a great yoga instructor because because the the because the stroke affects my memory sometimes so i do my yoga practices at home but i also meet on virtual virtual meeting with UC integrative medicine and um Sharon what's Sharon's last name I gotta look it up she's a yoga instructor and so we have people who chime in virtually and we do our yoga and okay. that's it's good community is you have to have community you can't just sit around not doing nothing because my body would lock up. Right. If I, did, if I didn't uh, do my yoga, my stresses, I have to do them in the morning because especially when it rains, my leg is so stiff, I can't move it. So mm. it's very important. Mm. That's good. Adriana said this has been so helpful to her. I'm so happy to hear that. This is why we have these type of conversations and these kind of talks because um, it's all about community. Sharita says that happened to me when I was 30. They said I had a nervous breakdown. I just could speak, but I couldn't understand everything. Yeah. Definitely get that. So yes, um, everybody that's just joining in, we are this is Natural Woman Magazine, and we are doing our 30 days of yoga. We are just on day two, and y'all already know with the 30 days of yoga, we do a weekly interview with a yoga lover and or professional, and this evening, we have my mom I brought on as my guest, um, Trisana Staples. Um, I brought her on to talk about how yoga has helped her in her recovery, and to talk a little bit about stroke prevention and awareness and recovery so we're going to take a quick little meditation break y'all so if you got to get up use the restroom just going to be gone for a few minutes i'm not going to play the entire meditation because it's seven minutes but just to give us a few minute break um and then we're going to come back and talk about um your stroke recovery fund um and what that is and how that can help people um in stroke recovery so sit back <laughs> relax we go to break let me say yeah. one thing Okay. My the yoga teacher, um, her name is Sharon Burns. Sharon, um, Burns. Sharon Burns, and I behoove people, especially if they have um, limitations in movement. If you can't remember to do the yoga, or you need some motivation, she is an excellent yoga instructor for people who have limited mobility okay and she has she's at she teaches her classes virtually at the uc garner gardner um neuroscience institute yes and y'all just so y'all know and i just want to say this i know a lot of people that who have you know who, who are watching this may have to deal with hospitals and doctors remember that they work for you it's not the other way around you can choose the type of care that you want to be subjected to if you want you know don't just do what they tell you to do um because there are a lot of hospitals not just here in cincinnati but all over i can guarantee to have programs that offer holistic alternatives 
towards your healing. Because slowly here on the West, that, you know, holistic healing is start, starting to be incorporated. But you got to be aware. You got to ask because they're not going to just tell you. <laughs> I, I had to find out on my own. I didn't even know <laughs> that they had opened up the uh, integrative medicine. And then I was having a conversation with my speech therapist. That's how I found out yeah. you know, from people who had opioid addictions. I said, what about stroke patients? Yeah. So that's how I got involved. Yeah. So there are resources, y'all. You just got to be aware and know because if you just sit there and do whatever plan they have you on, you're going to be far worse than what you can be. You can recover. And I always say holistic is best. I always say Western medicine is good with diagnosing. Having her in the MRR machine was great to tell us that she had a stroke, but the healing got to take place holistically because Western medicine is not created to heal. They're not in the business of healing. They're in the business of treating. Just had to say that. So we're going to take a quick break because I have to blow my nose and we'll be right back. On May 25th. And possibly May 7th. On the frequency, like on the frequency level of like love. Like what's the frequency we need to be trying to vibrate to? Peace. When you have what you need, when you have everything you need, you have peace. If you don't have everything that you need, you don't have peace. So that's why the ancient priests that the Kikuyu would not pray for anything material. They never pray for anything materialistic. They only pray for peace. Because when you have peace, that is everything. Like I said, that orbit, you know what I'm saying? When when peace, when you when you are peace, everything that orbits around peace brings you and provides everything that you need. Because if you don't have what you need, you you there, you can't have peace. I want you to take this opportunity to get yourself relaxed and settled and ready to go with them. Now, as you relax at the form of your body, take a deep breath in and out, in and out, in and into your belly, in and out. All of the connected earth. As we form this connection, I want you to turn on the frequency to peace and understanding what peace means. Be at peace with your decisions. Be at peace with the peace. You have no idea how powerful you can keep As you continue to breathe in and breathing out, I want you to focus on peace. I want you to focus on your peace. Y'all can go check out that guided meditation on the YouTube channel under Natural Woman Magazine or Aziza Nubia. If you would like to purchase the entire guided meditation album, you can go to AskNaturalWoman.com and check that out. It's an MP3 download of guided meditations with added sophagio frequencies that can help um, you on your healing journey, um, there's a guided meditation for high blood pressure, which that's probably the one I want. That's the one I wanted to play, but it's 10 minutes long. Um, 
We got one for diabetes, um, healing from cancer, healing from heart issues, um, and one for peace because peace is everything. If you can maintain inner peace, your world will have peace. And as you heard in the video, when you got peace, everything comes to you. Like a, a lot of times, life isn't going to be perfect because it's a, it's a lesson place for us here as human beings, but uh you can have main you can deal with the things that come your way they don't defeat you or destroy you you just gotta know you know get the inner the inner world together um but we are back this is 30 days of yoga thank you guys for joining in if you have not already make sure you sign up we are just on day two even if we are on day 10 or day 20 please sign up and let's get a few days of yoga in um this is an initiative with natural woman magazine where we're just trying to get as many people to just take the time to relax take the time to de-stress take the time to you know been within yourself because that's how you can change things in your life okay especially when you feel like life is getting hard and down and if you know if you've been listening to the conversation we had before we went to break um it, <laughs> yoga played a good role in you being able to maintain stress and deal with the day-to-day -day. and it wasn't until you stopped focusing on your self-care and um healing and you know your self-care practices and taking the time for yourself that's when you know your health took a turn for the worse um this is my mother y'all you do not know <laughs> she i thought she was the perfect guest to bring on um and we've been we just been talking about um stroke recovery prevention and how yoga has played a role um and she's been sharing a bit of her journey um so now i really want to get into um, the Tr Trizana A Staples Alternative Stroke Recovery Fund. Tell me a little bit about that, why it was created, and what does it do? Well, <clears throat> it was created because um, I won't even go into the whole spiel, but this the, the Alternative Stroke Recovery Fund was created to help other stroke survivors. So I had a hard time um, when I had my stroke, um, getting resources and no, uh, understanding what to do, um, who to call, what places to go. I mean, you helped me with that. And we didn't, we were hitting our head to get me the help that I needed to get. And then as I got days went on and I started getting better, um, my chiropractor from Apex Chiropractic, y'all, um, <laughs> off of, uh, Dr. Moji, he, he was very, in, he was very involved with my recovery, but I didn't, I, that was one of the other practices I stopped going because I was doing everything else, but he, he focuses on stroke on uh, tra traumatic brain injuries and stroke survivors but he helped me by giving me small things that i could be doing at home to help me with my speech to help me with my walking and so with with the yoga with the chiropractic with the acupuncture with the um everything else this is where i have gotten to be since and mind you i i couldn't walk and i couldn't talk so all these things happen i didn't start incorporating um these alternative therapies until about seven months after my stroke so i wanted to help other stroke survivors with um, having a fund um, to help them um, especially explore explore alternative methods of recovery because a lot of people believe it or not this is 2021 a lot of folks do not know about yoga don't believe in <laughs> yoga helps don't believe in acupuncture. Don't believe in chiropractic help or whatever. But then, you know, 
since things are slowly coming into the 21st century, mm-hmm. people are people have the access, especially in we this is the COVID area um era, but we can do this these things online. So the fun is to help stroke survivors and their caregivers um explore and if need be you know get them hooked up with a organiz- get them hooked up with a um uh um a healthcare facility that offers alternative recovery um plans a, a alternative recovery treatments mm-hmm. whether yoga you know if if, if i could if I can, if I can give help a stroke survivor with at least a month of yoga um, instructions with a with a yoga a yoga class, that whole that week will change their life forever. Mm-hmm. You know, so the 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 goal of the fund is to provide a resource not only for alternative um, stroke recovery, but also for education, prevention, you know, this, this information that we need, because I, when I, we don't know when you go have a stroke, we had no idea. Yeah. I thought she was going to be back home later on that night, that it was going to be some get her blood pressure down, send her back home. We're about to go back, watch the movies. And that, it changed everything. Wasn't expecting it. Okay, so make sure y'all check out www.trisadastaples.com. Donate. Um, it is like a recovery fund. Make sure you, and if you know anybody who would uh, benefit from um just this information. She's a wealth of information. She's been featured in books. She, you know, she's becoming a well-known <laughs> stroke recovery survivor slash advocate um, and getting the news out that there are alternative ways to heal. Um, your life does not have to, you know, end at because you had a stroke. You still have so much more life to live um, and you can heal um, because the body was created that way. So make sure y'all check out www.trisanastaples.com. Also know that the link to her website is also added to the description of the video or this interview on um, Facebook and on YouTube. So so what we're doing right now with the fund, we have the charter for the state of Ohio. Okay. So now we're working on the 501c3. Okay. So there, there are levels to, to building this to make sure it will be a legacy to help. Every, and when, once I'm gone, the fund will still be going mm-hmm. to help. Because not only that, like I didn't have a traditional caregiver, but even there are some people who um, need 24 hour hour care and the people that care for them need to know about the alternative method mm-hmm. of healing mm-hmm. you know so it, this is information that will be in one place and if possible to also financially help stroke survivors to explore these alternative methods. Awesome sauce. So make sure y'all support. Share the link. Make sure you follow. I think you, it's Trezana Staples on social media, on uh, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. Because yeah, it's Trezana A. Staples on both the platforms, correct, Mom? Yeah, Trezana Staples. This Tr- Trezana Staples on Instagram. Tr- Trezana A. Staples on Facebook and uh, Trezana Staples on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Alignable. Okay, make sure y'all follow, make sure y'all support. 
Um, she has a wealth of information and she always got something going on. She's sitting in the embassy getting interviewed or got to speak somewhere. <laughs> so make sure y'all support and follow. Um, I've really enjoyed this conversation. I hope um, that this conversation has helped someone to heal as well as you may start the 30 day yoga challenge or try yoga or look into yoga. Um, I know like my mom said before, some people don't believe in yoga or think it's scary. Um, I know a lot of people when I talk to them, when they hear yoga, they think people channel spirits with yoga and some things you, you do do. It's not even that deep y'all at the end of the day, it's all about relaxation, stretching, being able to move movement, activates your organs. Your organs are what houses your spirit. You know, if you want to have the best, you know, type of life you can have, you got to start paying attention to your body. You have to start giving back to your body. Body um, Yoga is a great way to help us focus on what's going on within us. Because like yeah. you said, you said you internalize your stress. So some of us, like when I get stressed out, my mom know me, I start complaining, I get mad, I bust out crying. Like I got, you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't hold it in. My mom, you won't even know stuff is bothering her. Never, ever. And I know it's a lot of people that are like that. And it's just really, you just killing yourself. It's, it's poison to a certain extent because every emotion creates chemicals within the body. And so, um, it's important. And if I can get, like you said, one person to do yoga for a week, you could change their their life forever. <laughs> I tell you, Aziza, after I had this stroke, nothing that happened prior was worth it. Mm. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Life is meant to be lived. Don't wait till you have a stroke to live your life. This stuff that we're dealing with is not important. Happiness, love, and cut cut those toxic people, toxic things out of your life and live. Because mm. one day we're going to die, but I ain't trying to die right now. Right. Especially if it ain't your time. Especially if it ain't your time. You got a lot of a lot of life to live. Don't, 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 you know, you know, I don't know if you notice anything about me since my stroke. I don't deal with nobody who's negative, who's toxic. I cut that mess off. I don't want to hear it. If it don't do, I ain't trying to listen to your stories. I got to take care of myself. So I do my yoga. I feed my, I feed my chipmunks <laughs> and squirrels. And she is, I call her the hood Snow White, y'all. I got a I groundhog got now. Great <laughs> she literally started off feeding the squirrels in her backyard. Now she feed birds, chipmunks, groundhogs coming. She is the Snow White of the hood. Well, she don't even <laughs> live in the hood. But she the black Snow White because they love her. <laughs> <laughs> I go out to my garden and, you know, we know that a lot of stuff is happening in the world, but you can't allow these, turn off the TV, turn off YouTube, turn off social media and breathe, stretch mm -hmm. and get that prana in. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we have a life force in, within us. Don't have a stroke. Don't allow me to be the example. I had another chance. Somebody else may not, but just, just live and be happy and just understand that this stuff is happening in the world, but you got to create your own happiness and yoga will help you do that. It really will. I've gone into a yoga session, tensed, stressed, mad, and got out of that session feeling the, the tension melt off my shoulders. Yes. 
Like, that's how powerful it can be. So I hope you guys sign up for 30 Days of Yoga. Tomorrow is day three. Again, it is an interactive, on-your-own-pace kind of challenge. Um, you get daily emails with the yoga routine, some little information about the body, mind, and spirit. We do these weekly um, interviews. Uh, next week, I will have another we uh, yoga enthu enthusiast and... Um, We'll have a yoga giveaway. We'll do a live yoga class on Saturday if you can't attend online. So, you know, it's just really an initiative to get us moving, get us relaxed, get our get our minds at peace. Um, and it's super dope because we're headed into the fall equinox. We're going into the fall season, which is the perfect time to release and let go of everything that don't mean something for you right now if it ain't got nothing to do with you and your embetterment you need to let that stuff go but i thank you mom for coming on my platform well thank and you having for this having conversation you. with me make sure you guys sign up make sure you check out shazanastaples.com stroke recovery um i know a lot of people have been probably asking what is going on with the magazine app our app is getting rebuilt but it will be all the way back together and relaunch when the newest issue of Natural Woman Magazine releases, which is September 22nd on the full moon, the harvest full moon. So um, make sure until that happens, you do check out www.asnaturalwoman.com. Make sure you sign up for our email list so you can get that notification. Um, and yeah, we're that's what we're doing. I will see you guys next Wednesday at 7 p.m. We'll be back talking about how yoga helps motherhood and entrepreneurship and just help you find your peace. I'm excited about that conversation. So make sure um, you tune in. Thank you for watching. Shout out to everybody watching um, the recorded version of this. And thank you, everybody who stuck with us and watched the live. Until next time, peace, love, and light. <laughs>